the carry your own first solutions. thing, like with anything, we eat with our eyes. So you're looking at the color, which is super neon blue. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think this goes beyond highlighter. Closer yeah. to Smurf, like you said. <laughs> Smurf blue, I would say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then uh, you would look to see if there's any rim variation or look for any aging on it, but we know it's a young line, so we don't really have to do that part. Um, then we would smell it just to kind of see what sort of fruit aromas or flavors it's giving. And this is going to be interesting because it's a mix of red and white wines mm -hmm. as well as the must. So just without knowing too, too much about it, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know what fruits I'm going to get, but also how sweet is this going to be? So mm -hmm. let's, let's find out. So what do you smell? A lot of pineapple and citrus. Yeah, like candied lemons and mango. <laughs> well, uh, Proof is in the pudding, shall Let's we? Let's try it. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> very interesting. It's very really sweet. sweet. <laughs> very sweet. <laughs> it's really sweet. Kind of have that like powdered sugary finish. Yeah. Like those um, pixie sticks. Pixie sticks, yeah. I was thinking cotton candy mm -hmm. a little bit. Yep. <laughs> the texture is weird too. Hmm. How so? Like it's it just kind of like sits very flat on your palate. Um, whatever acidity in here, I would think is fake acid um, because there's just so much sugar that it's kind of that that fake tart, uh, and it's very pithy and sits on the side of your palate. Hmm. What would you eat with this? I was just about to ask you the same <laughs> question. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it would make a great spritzer or mimosa um, to eat with it. I mean, I, I wouldn't necessarily call this a food wine, but I think it would be nice with desserts or like a fruit plate or something like that. Mm -hmm. but. All right, Morgan, in your professional opinion, what, how would you rate this wine? I kind of think of wine of would I go back for another sip, another glass. Um, I went back for another sip because it's interesting, but this is not something I would necessarily be drinking or purchasing for myself. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, there's kind of, there's a wine out there for everybody. So even if it's not for me, there's probably someone who's going to love this.